Hello friends, I've probably played this event for like 60 or more hours already, I'm sleep deprived and probably going insane, but at least I got the world record and it should be unbeatable because it is impossible to get more score. Pog! I hope. So I'll be explaining all that we're doing, like our positioning, our strats, how the score works, so on and so forth. So starting off here already at the very beginning. We're gonna have to eliminate every single Zomic that spawns during this opening section. Every player gets like one to four, give or take, enemies. So we have to kill them all because every single kill gives an amount of score. So we cannot miss any. The max amount of score you can get in this little section is 405. With every blue and Zomic giving 27 points. So here comes the first strat in the mode. There's a wave of enemies that will keep respawning in this section, but they don't give score. But the interesting thing is after you group up at this tavern location, they will give score. So we wait for them to spawn, only then we kill them. We'll get a bonus of free kills. So we trigger the tavern and we retreat here. Chunker Queen stands in the corner there. They all group up, they can't reach her, and we can just mow them down with like no problem. And if everything is done correctly, you should have 729 score entering the tavern. Apart from kill score, there are two more types of score that you need to care about. There's time bonus and survival bonus. Time bonus is just if you're fast enough, you can get a set amount of score. And for survival bonus, you can get a set amount of score for dying as little as possible. Can I have a beer? Okay. So this next section is very straightforward. All you gotta do here is make sure they don't explode and to not accidentally somehow miss one. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. Zomniks explode if you get too close, and if they do, you don't get any score. If that happens, we get emotional damage. Especially if it happens in the end game. It sucks when you're at the very end and just one Zomnik explodes. It means you cannot get the maximum score anymore, you have to reset. Nothing else to say about this part. We're about to get to the Banshee. So for the Banshee, there's not too much to talk about here. The only thing you need to know about this part to get max score is that there are three blues that appear with the Banshee. As you, there they are, there's three of them. Those are the only enemies that give score, so you have to kill them before you kill the Banshee. After the blues are dead, we just delete her. We used all our ultimates, making sure that Kiriko boosts Bob, because that is very strong and consistent damage. We'll be doing that often in this run. Apart from that, there's one good tip I can give you, which you can use in anywhere in the run. If you're Ash and you use your coach gun, if the target you boop hits a wall, they will get stunned. You can stun her out of coalescence, as we did. It's a really good strat. So for the Winstons, we all position on the high ground, except Junker Queen because she cannot climb walls like we can. There will be three Zonics that will spawn on the low ground and the Junker Queen has to kill them. They are the only ones that give score. While we three up here deal with the monkey. We use my Disruptor Field here and Ash's Dynamite to help out Junker Queen with the Zonics that are gonna spawn there. Because she can't really kill them alone. Here, one of us basically just tanks it while the while the Kiriko heals the one being targeted. And the Winston dies pretty easily. In this run, though, we got we had the second Winston jump us, which is actually really bad. Fortunately, we were really fast killing the first one, so it wasn't a problem. But if you're a bit slow on the first one, you that might be really devastating. After you kill the first one, you. Per we usually bring them down My so God, Junker dude. Queen can join in on the fight, but it doesn't exactly matter. You can kill them up top if you want. This mode is a bit different than the other modes. For example, the blue I just killed didn't give any score. As I understand, only enemies that appear for the first time in a given area give score. That's the quickest explanation I can give. So for example, those tires that you hear? They don't give they don't give score. And that is pretty much this part. We cleaned it pretty fast. We progress forward. Here, here's four Zomnix that spawn, they all give score, so we really gotta make sure they don't blow up. So upcoming is the echo part. I don't have almost I don't have anything to say about it score-wise because there's no 
crazy strats to get more score there. All you gotta do is shoot them in the face. One thing I can mention is if they kill themselves, you will not get score, so look out for that. It's about to get real. So in terms of positioning, we all group up on this corner. You could technically do this on every corner, we just like this corner. So here's the first echo. As you can see there, our Ash stunned the echo by using the, her coach gun on her. So you can just shoot her without any trouble. For the second one, we don't have stun, so I use my disruptor field. Got a little bit funky there. Oh my god. The third one, it's five in total. There we go, he got stunned again. The most effective way to do this is to constantly cycle your abilities. So for example, on the first one, you use stun. On the second one, you use Junker Queen's shout. On the third one, you use stun again. On the fourth one, you use Kiriko Suzu. On the fifth one, you use stun again. And if, ever, and if everyone attacks the Echo as soon as she spawns, you should be completely in the clear. Not much more to say. That is our strat for this part. Have to kill all these guys, they give score. They'll be the only ones giving score in this section. So here for Symmetra, we have an interesting strat, which sadly we did not get in this run. So a bit sad. Junker Queen usually pulls the Symmetra on top of her head and she just gets stuck there for like 5 seconds. We unfortunately didn't do that this time, so it's, the kill is a bit slower. But we still killed her really fast because I landed a lot of shots. And now we can more or less safely kill the Winston. You do Ow. have to be careful with the occasional Zombardier and Zomnix. Find you, find you. That's another great thing you can find do you. if you get cornered as Sojourn. You can just slide through the Zomnix. You won't take any damage. Score-wise, these Zomnix don't give any score. Like I mentioned earlier, only enemies that appear for the first time for an area or objective give score. Most of the time, it's a, it's a little bit weird. Dead, wasn't she? Seems the bride stoked her back to life. Well, she's dead again now. And the bride's next. Once we bust through this door. Step aside, gals. My dynamite will burn this door to the ground. Okay. All right, so for this last section, we try to figure out who the ghost is targeting and the one that is being targeted will just stay in the back and wait for him Junker to retarget. So this time it was targeting Junker Queen, so she stays behind. But we slowly push here. You gotta be really careful. Again, if we get too close, they will explode. Here, that guy was really close. I hate that. This I hate that guy. You can see Junker Queen's coming back. This part is always a little bit nerve-wracking because sometimes the Zomniks are really aggressive and they'll just push you just as you peek the corner and they'll blow up. So you gotta be really careful. In theory it's very simple but it can go wrong really quickly. So here we have a Bastion. I used my ultimate here so I can easily kill the tires. So there's one. There's two. Preferably we get the third one. Yeah, there we go. Now we can see if we kill the Bastion with no worry. We gotta kill all the tires because they give score. Can imagine. I don't even attack the Bastion at all. For this chamber, we just take it slow. If they if yeah, they I get too close, we just retreat. I only shoot them after. Nope, nothing can hurt anymore. At all. Here we have Kiriko yeah. pick up the key since she can get to the door the fastest because she can teleport. Here's a big wave that appears but we all group up and deal with it together while Kiriko opens the door. Not too much of a hassle. So this final section might be a bit weird to explain but I'll try my best. Okay. Positioning wise, Ash is on the high ground on my left right now holding Zomnik aggro. Yep. Junker Queen stays where we came from, blocking spawns, while Kiriko and I stay opposite of Junker Queen, also blocking spawns. Starting off here, at the very beginning, there will be three waves of Zomnix and uh, one wave of Blues. And that all gives score, so we gotta make sure that we kill them. So here's the first wave. 
if I'm not mistaken, the second wave should have spawned like now. I, I can't exactly tell because I'm on the roll ground. Here's Samra, we get her off the switch, but we don't kill her. I'll mention Where why in a they? moment. Okay, nice. And here's the third wave with the blues. All of these give score, so we gotta kill them all. Kill everything, right? Yeah, yeah. So once we kill everything, we we kill three blues. Because something interesting is gonna happen. As you will see, if I kill one of these blues, it doesn't give any score. We don't get any more score. As you see, I, I killed do, do, these two on the high ground, no extra score. So the thing with this part is if there's two uh, Zomniks alive, yep. it will spawn an extra three blues and two Zomniks. So we stack up as much as we can. There's so there we go, they, yeah. they spawned again, as you can see. And now we have seven enemies on the map. But now here's the interesting thing. If you kill the Sombra and then stagger her off this next switch, all of these Zomniks and Blues will suddenly give score. Why? Hell if I know. I don't know. I found this out while t testing a bunch of things. And I, I honestly don't know. And the reason I don't know is because you can only do this once. Like, there are more Zomniks that appear this later, and if you do it over. again, it just doesn't work. So here you will see. We stagger her off the switch, and notice the blues and the Zomniks, they get score again. Right? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. So after we get her off the second switch, there's a Bastion and Tires. We basically insta-kill everything. And once we do, we can safely kill the Sombra again. Okay. We're gonna get another Bastion and more Tires. It is important to kill Bastion first, so we can get one more Bastion. Yep. Because if we kill Sombra first, there's a chance we will not get another. There he is, but we can't kill him, there's a catch. If we were to kill this Bastion now, he would give no score. He would give nothing. Same for the tires, no score. But if we wait for the Sombra to get on the switch and we get her off, the tires and the Bastion will suddenly give score again. Let's get a good spawn. Don't. Yeah, bit of a bad spawn there. My teammates deal with it though. And as you will see, this Bastion and the tires will give score. If we killed them earlier, it would give nothing. Oh my god. Good job, good job. That was so close. That that part was that part was close. Could have died there. So continu continuing on now, there's no more kill score you can get. Nothing. All you gotta do now is just be fast enough to get the time bonus and don't die to get the survival bonus. There will be nothing fancy going on here anymore, so I'll just transition into game audio. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time. Come on, let's get it. Yep, yep. Nuke this one. Oh, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Nice slide. I'm gonna just keep healing. Oh god, he... Fucking murderer! Oh, do we do it? Should be it. Should be do it. We do it. Should be, it should be, come on, dude. Please. Please. Let it be Genshin time. <laughs> <laughs> Please, dude. It's 1 a.m. I think I have like 70 hours in this event already, if not more, dude. Come on. Let it be. Come on. Had some close calls at the end there. Dude, your slide through those bots were fucking legendary. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, we got kill score. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. GG. Oh, shit. GG's. <laughs> GG. GG. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Let's go. Fuck, <laughs> no way. Feels good, man.
I still can't believe how you survived like two times at the end. Of the day. Oh my <laughs> god. First, when you were like one HP and you were like cornered by those bots, and you just like slide. That's so, you're, you're so big, Bernie. You're so fucking smart. I think the fucking ghost was just right there as well. If I slid into him, I would have died. Yeah, like Boomstick, like was crying for heals, so I TP'd up to him, and like, while I pressed shift, I looked down at health, and I saw you had like 50 <laughs> health, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so I shot like three, sh three like, Ofudas into Boom, and I then I just the jumped down to you. Be to get the cap You're still recording. I have something to say for the end of the video. Sure. Love